Okay, guys, uh, I've had a couple of requests um, to show people how to build a capture page um, and set up the triggers and drive into an email campaign on Go High Level. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. Uh, it's going to be a nice quick video. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of ways you can build a capture page from scratch, a nice simple one, and how you can clone one that you've already made. If you've got one that you've already made, you can just change it. Um, and then you have to set up the triggers set up the forms and then set up the uh, the campaign to drive the people into so first off um, we're going to create a form so we're going to mark in form builder create new form we're going to call this one so see it's called form 20 in a minute i'm just going to change that in the options to test then we go back to fields we're going to we're going to put in i like to put first name last name an email address in here some people just like to capture email address uh, because you get better uh, opt-in rates if you just have one box to fill in but I feel that if you have um, the name included as well your opt-in is going to be more likely to uh, to be high quality opt-in rather than low quality you can also click on these you can make them uh, required so I always put their first name required, last name not required, email is required so it comes up with style. You can change all the style of this as well. Um, you can change the styles in here so you can change the background colour to whatever you want. We'll put it slightly grey maybe. Um, do loads of different things in here, change the borders, you know, the fonts, um, loads of different stuff but we're doing it basic. So. Um, that's how we're going to do it for now. Save and exit. So that's our form done. Now we're going to go in, build our funnel. So we go into funnels. We're going to create a new funnel. We're going to call it test. Create funnel. Now we're going to create a funnel step. This is our funnel builder now. So this one is going to be opt in test. Um, see on here, I think I did a, a previous video about this, but um, this is the, the golden crowning jewel of uh, Go High Levels. You can copy ClickFunnels uh, URLs. So if this was a ClickFunnel URL up here, you can copy that, put it into here, and it will copy the whole funnel in. Um, so you can properly funnel hack someone's funnel. Um, and like I said, <laughs> I don't recommend you copy people. Always adapt and change it unless you have permission to completely copy it. Now, some programs will give them to you. For free, so we're going to create that final step. Now we go into edit. Here we go when it loads up. So we're going to go full width section, add a row, then do one column in here. Um, like I said, do it nice and simple. So we're going to have a headline in there. So we'll, we'll keep that as it is. I'm not going to change it. You guys can set that to whatever you want. So you've got your um, a bit in there. Um, what you can do then, um, which is another great way to do it, you can add. So if you click on the blue section, which is add a row, you can change that to two columns. Then this one you could put in, say, a video. Maybe you want to put in a little sales video or your pitch video. And in this one, we're going to put our form. So now we want to select the form that we've just created. And the whole idea of this is that we can segregate. As you see, I've got loads of different forms in here the form will pop up um, and you can do it that way uh, and that way we can segregate so when we add our tags we can add specific tags and drive people in specific um, marketing campaigns from this we can do all sorts of things uh, rather than just using one form for everyone it works out much better that way so that's a, a basic form on the form itself you're going to go down the bottom you know obviously you want to edit all this you can do all the background you can change the background in here uh, you can add images to the background, you can add background colours, you know, there's there's all stuff in here. So you can search the backgrounds that are already in here. You know, you can go and add this one for instance. And I'll click on that, see that will stick that in. And then maybe on here we want to change the colour of this now, so we get rid of that, um, because that doesn't show up. And uh, also with, with these you want to mobile optimise everything. Um, is that the right one I clicked on? Background 
color. Yeah. Uh, it hasn't changed it for some reason, but it should have done. Maybe I've clicked on the wrong, wrong color somewhere along the line. It might update when I come out and go back in, but that's how you change the colour anyway. Um, so that's effectively what your funnel is going to look like. But on your form here as well, you want to go down the bottom um, and you can use the use action from the form, or you can set to go to website URL and then you can copy and paste your URL with your offer, whatever offer it is, because that's what you want to drive people to. So you're going to drive them into an offer, but you want to capture their information first. That's the whole idea of this. Um, like I said, this is a very, very basic opt-in page, um, and I'm going to show you a different version of it in a second, but um, you can do many different ways of doing this. Some opt-in pages or landing pages are much bigger. You can give away free um, you know, lead magnets, like PDF documents and blueprints and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to save that. It's going to ask for the metadata, but we're not going to worry about that for now. Again, you want to put all that stuff in there so it helps on the SEO. Um, then the next thing we can do, uh, so we've got that opt-in page there, is we can go down onto, say, let's pick a good one in here. Uh, well, there we go, that one. Then this opt-in page here, we can go down the bottom. And you see it's behind my face there. Um, clone the funnel step. So we can clone that step. We can do it into my account. And we can go and pick test, uh, which is going to be that one. I've got two tests in there. Add that to step. So now if we go back out of this funnel, we can go back into the one we just created. And you'll see that that funnel step is now in there. So now you can go in. So as you build the whole thing from scratch, you can go back in there. You can go and edit it, change it around to whatever you want. You can change the button. In this one, you see I haven't got a form on the page. What I've got is a button here, and that will bring up a pop-up. So you can click on here. You can create a pop-up. You can add a top, you know, another headline in exactly the same way as the final boom. Add another form section in here, which will be you, you click on that button, and then obviously then you go down, add form, and then you can create it that way. And this form for this one obviously will be different. So you want to add your form, select the one you want to do. And that is it. That's how it's done. So that is the opt-in page built in a matter of a couple of minutes. It's so, so simple. Obviously, the more complex they are, it's going to take you a bit longer. The next thing we want to do is set up our triggers. So we're going to add a trigger. We're going to call this one test as well. Save. Um, now we're going to look in here for form submitted. There we go. So when this is saying that when a form is submitted, and then we're going to do the form is, so this is the filter, um, then the form is test, which is there, then it's going to do whatever action you want it to do. So I like to put on there first, add a contact tag, so that'll be test, then add that one in, so that'll add... Um, a tag to, to them so you can search them in the contacts very very easily uh, and find out how many people have opted in through that specific uh, opt-in page or capture page then you also want to drive them into a campaign um, which we haven't kept created so add a campaign we haven't done that yet um, so it won't allow us to do anything at the minute with that so I'm going to show you quickly as well how to create campaigns. So we're going to go into campaigns. We're going to create a new campaign. We're going to call this one test as well. You can select a folder. So there's multiple different folders that I've got in here for different offers. Um, so and then, um, obviously, when when you've done this as well, you have to put this action to publish, and you have to do the same in the triggers. You have to make sure you publish them, otherwise they won't operate. Um, so you can add an event, and then you can see how many things you can do on this software at WhatsApp. And you can send M SMS messages, but this stuff all takes integrations, Facebook messages, emails. You can set up calls to be booked. You can set up voicemails. This will send you a direct voicemail to say, you know, you need to do something. You can put in a white manual calls. So that will give you a notification you need to do a call. 
manual SMS, it was, again, it will notify you that this needs to be done. It can add a task to a specific um, member of your team. If you're using Teams, you can add webhooks. So you're going to add an email. You're going to put in a subject. You're going to write the email, etc., etc. Um, that's going to be there. Then on here, let's move my face out of the way. You can change when it sends. So you can either do immediately if it's a welcome email, or you're sending them a document or something. You know your your capture or uh, your um, lead magnet. Then you can send that immediately to them, or you can send send it after 10 minutes, half hour, a couple of hours or days, and you can change all of that. Really, really good for uh, optimizing. Then we're going to go back into our trigger. We're going to find our test one, wherever it may be. Um, lost it somewhere. Ah, I didn't save it. I didn't save it. That's fine. We'll make another one quickly. So again, add a trigger, test, save. Then we're going to find the again. We're going to go for form submitted. Form submitted once it's uh, really up. It's kind of it's been a bit slow. Sorry, guys. Form submitted, add a filter, uh, form is, test, add a trigger, we're going to do contact tag, tag test, you can put in any tag you want there, Guys, you know it doesn't matter, whatever you want it to come up as, then we're going to do add to campaign, and then we're going to pick a campaign, and our campaign is going to be again test, that's it, and then we just put change from draft to active, save. Job done. So now, when someone opts into that page, they will get driven onto your link, whatever offer it is that you're, you've created. You're going to capture their information. You're going to add a tag to their name. You're going to drive them into an email campaign, so you can do follow-up email campaigns with that. If you haven't got an email campaign set up yet, just one thing I will say is the best way to, to manage that then um, is to set. Uh, add an event because what you don't want to do is if they go into the campaign and you haven't got any emails they'll just drop straight back out so what I'll do is put a wait in there make it every day and put it on for days 999 and that way you save that you can drag that up to the top so when someone comes into the campaign, they'll just sit there wait until you add an email. And then when you do add an email, you can just drag that above, stick that in. It'll fire the email off in the time that you've specified on there. So that's it, guys. That's how you build a, a nice, easy um, capture page and set up the whole sequence of the, you know, the form, the triggers, the email campaigns using Go High Level. Uh, it's a fantastic bit of software. So I hope that's helped, and I'll uh, catch you next time. And uh, if you would like to check out the Go High Level software, if you haven't got it already, uh, there's a link below. Um, go and check it out, guys, because it is fantastic. It really is. I've done some other videos on it, and I'll be doing some more training videos on that in the future. Um, it's a fantastic bit of software, really, really complete marketing software. So hit the link below. Go and check it out. I'll see you soon. Bye.